You're listening to PodcasterNews.com. Welcome to the LA Story Podcast with Stevie Wilson. I'm here at the Four Seasons Hotel, and you must remember this man, the Dapper Michael O'Connor. Dapper. Dapper. See, see, this is—I mean, like Dapper. Super cool. Anyways, he's going to show us all about men's jewelry for the Emmys, and this is really important because men don't usually like to wear a lot of jewelry. Well, actually, interesting. You were seeing a lot of men starting to wear more and more jewelry, and I think that we're having a whole new younger crop of celebrities, and those celebrities really are afraid to wear jewelry. They haven't grown up with that stigma. Mm -hmm. And people like the Jonas Brothers, Justin Bieber, they're all starting to wear wear more and more jewelry. And I think it's really going to become one of the most important categories in the next five years. I think that's a great idea. I can't wait. Because men need to wear jewelry. Absolutely. Here, guys, you need to wear jewelry because it makes you look sexier, edgier, more fun. And more current. You know, and some of the things that we're seeing, we're seeing a lot of men do more open necks and they're wearing the chains, they're wearing pieces like this one here that I'm wearing. This is like by, by Bachi. Nice. And I mean, it's perfect, especially now we're having a lot of dress down days at work, so people aren't wearing um, shirts and ties to the office anymore. So this is a perfect accessory. Exactly. The other thing that we're seeing, and we're seeing, we've seen this on the Jonas Brothers, for example, are strands of black diamonds. Black diamond necklaces such as this are very, I love very popular. On some of the more uh, cutting edge men, people like Terrence Howard, for example, we're starting to see lapel pins. This one here is perfect. This is platinum and diamonds with Sasuke Pearl by Alishan. I love it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over so that you can see the detail because a black widow spider always has a little red um, diamond underneath. Wow. And so. This is, a, this is a unique piece, but we're seeing a lot of men really start to accessorize on the lapel with, um, with uh, interesting like lapel pins. It's interesting, it's fun. It really is, and it takes the tuxedo out of that ordinary kind mm -hmm. of frame and really turns it into something special. You know, a lot of tuxedos now, people are wearing longer ties, so they're not really wearing bow ties, and they don't have the need for shirt studs. Right. So, what a lot of men are doing, they're accessorizing longer ties with pieces like this. This is a tie accent by Cleek. And the way it works is pretty simple. All you really need to do is you take it and you put it over the knot of the tie. You click it down and you've got the perfect accessory that's really going to take the tuxedo and make it a signature look by, um, by allowing some, some characterization with, without being too blingy. Right, it's a statement. It really is. And it's nice. It's really, for the guys who are conservative, that's great. I give you the, give me somebody who's willing to take a risk. A little more edgy for, yeah. for Stevie. I, sorry, that's who I am. Conservative, and they really only want to wear something very simple and plain, mm -hmm. like a watch. This is a perfect watch for guys to wear because this is a Piaget Polo, very classic, very simple, but this is a collector's edition watch. This is a solid platinum. Wow. Piaget's home. Seriously. So it's got the beautiful half of platinum, and yet it's simple enough that you could wear this every single day, or you could wear it for dress purposes. What's this retail for? <laughs> this retails for 125000 Perfect Christmas present, you know? If money's no object, that's a good one. Absolutely. But of course, Piaget make watches that are not just 125000 They make them from a few thousand dollars, so you can really find something that's perfect for your Oh, that's, that's a great brand, too. I love it. Thanks for joining Stevie Wilson on L.A. Story. Feel free to check out other podcasts and videos. Bookmark it now. www.la-story.com.